Greetings and welcome to part number one of the Sekiro All Collectibles series. In this video we're going to cover all achievement related collectibles found between the dilapidated temple and the Ashina outskirts stairway idol. Collectible number one is the shuriken wheel. From the outskirts wall, gate path idol. Make your way over to the hole in the wall and as you enter check to your left. You will find a prosthetic tool on a corpse. Collectibles number 2 and 3 are a reward from beating General Naomori Kavarada. From the shuriken wheel make your way into the open area right behind the gate. Fight the boss and claim the collectibles, prayer bead and gourd seed. For the full fight click on the video here or the link in the description below. Collectible number 4 is the Young Lord's Bell Charm. After the general boss fight clear out the area behind him of all enemies. As you make your way forward you can spot a destroyed building with a woman staying on the top floor. Talk to her and at the end of the dialogue she will hand you the Young Lord's Bell Charm. This is a mandatory item for multiple achievements because it lets you enter another area that is otherwise completely missable. We will cover this area in the next part, so stay tuned. Collectible number 5 is Robert's Firecrackers. You have to buy this item from the memory mob merchant found in the same area as the Bell Charm. Use the grapple points to go up and talk to the guy in the tent. You will buy it for 500 sen. To cover the cost, you can just pick up the coin pouches in the area. After that, we return to the temple and talk to the lady next to the entrance. This is Emma. She is able to upgrade your healing gourd with the gourd seeds you find. Each offered seed increases the amount of heals by one. The potency of the gourd has to be increased with skills. Now coming up is the Shinobi Esoteric Text. Collector number 5 can be received upon speaking with the sculptor. Esoteric Text will unlock special techniques to learn. To learn them, you have to interact with an idol and spend the skill points that you gain by killing enemies. And last but not least, now we are going to fit the shinobi tools we found into our prosthetic arm. To do so, talk to the sculpture and use the fit new prosthetic tool options to turn the items you found into the actual tool. And that is it for the video. If the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more collectible guides, and I will see you in the next one.